students. We're also learning new information about the tour bus operator and local students on board. CBS 2's Juan Fernandez continues our team coverage live in the Satellite Center. Juan. Well, Pat Paul, first of all, I want to show you possibly the most horrific image that's come into the Satellite Center at the height of the aftermath of this crash. We want to show it to you right now. Look at that. The California Highway Patrol telling us now there were three cars trapped between the FedEx truck and the bus. So in addition to the nine dead, there is now a list of 10 people unaccounted for. The university chartered three buses from Silverado stages in San Luis Obispo to get students from Southern California to Humboldt State. Students were expected to spend two days touring the campus, but crashed 200 miles before they got there. A school trip takes a tragic turn when a charter bus collided with a FedEx big rig and a Nissan Altima. Nine dead and more than 30 injured. These are new images from the scene showing rescue crews attending to the injured. Most show signs of cuts and heavy bruising. Some were treated on the scene, others rushed away by ambulance, and the severely injured airlifted to a nearby hospital. According to the CHP, the FedEx truck may have crossed the median and slammed head on into the bus. Both the big rig and bus were engulfed by flames. We're also now learning the bus was chartered by Humboldt University to bring students up from Southern California to visit their campus. The president of Humboldt University released this statement saying, Humboldt State University is deeply saddened by a tragic accident that occurred earlier this evening involving a charter bus filled with prospective... Now, FedEx issued this statement uh, to us tonight saying our thoughts and prayers are with everyone involved in the tragic accident on I-5 in Northern California. We are cooperating fully with authorities. That's the very latest from the Satellite Center. I'm Juan Fernandez, CBS 2 News.